Hey guys, it's Lane with Crafty Life Mom. I am back with a clean with me, decorate with me video. So yeah, crafty friends, this is gonna be my first time ever doing a clean with me video, decorate with me video. I have not done one of those, but I've seen them all over and I thought it would be really fun to do because real life is messy and you can see it's messy back here in my kitchen. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get ready for Christmas because it's totally time, it's November 5th, it's actually my birthday. And one of the articles that I've recently read is that statistics and studies show that when you decorate for Christmas, people are happier and so why not on my actual birthday? I'm gonna clean this mess up and then we're gonna break out all the Christmas goodies and I'm gonna share with you guys exactly what I have in my Christmas bins, what I've bought new this year and how I'm gonna decorate so I know some people have already been having their trees up for like a few days already so I already feel behind which is kind of crazy because that never happens I usually feel like I'm the first one but life has been crazy these last few days and this is actually the first opportunity that I have been home to where I can actually tend to my house and get things done. I kind of planned it that way where I would have a day home just to myself. Um, it just happened to be my birthday. And actually get some stuff done, get some decorating done and share that all with you. So let's get started with cleaning and decorating for the holiday season. Okay, so I am tackling all of the dishes that were left out to dry on my drying mat and putting them all away. My kids have so many parts to their drinking cups and their water bottles, and we have so many coffee cups, so we can go through dishes and let them sit for a while before we actually have to wash more. Once I had those put away, I was able to finally unload the clean dishes from the clean from the dishwasher and put those away so that I could actually get to the dirty ones to put them into the dishwasher. I don't know why we let it pile up so much, but it needed to finally be done. So I am putting everything away. Once that was done, I was able to actually clean those dishes. And one thing I love to do after cleaning dishes is actually clean my sink. I love using Mrs. Meyer's cleaning spray and I use it to actually clean my sink so it doesn't smell like any food or anything left over and it just makes the house smell kind of nice. Next up uh, was cleaning my coffee bar area, just prepping everything. I haven't quite decorated that section yet, but I've been placing things up there for Christmas. And then lastly, I'm just cleaning the trash and you can see like my kids spilled something. I'm not sure what, so I had to get to that. Next up, my face will tell you right there, was not looking forward to doing all of the laundry, but when you have three kids, the laundry does pile up. I don't even think this is a full week's worth of laundry, but it is a lot, so it had to be put away. And I got that all done so that I could move on to actually cleaning our couch and our rug that we have here. So I decided to actually vacuum the couch. I haven't done that in a while. And once I did that, I was like, let me clean under the cushions. We don't allow anyone to eat out here, but for some reason there were a few cookie crumbs and I think there are three somebodies that come to mind as to why there were some 
food bits under the cushions there, and a couple of toys, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so I actually vacuumed it all up, and now it is good to go and decorate for Christmas, which you can see I already have a few things here for Christmas, and I just kind of laid them out, but this is definitely not how I am leaving it for, for Christmas, which you will see in my next video, how I actually use gloves to Last up was my bedroom, just making my bed and putting everything away where it needed to go. One of my favorite things um, that I wanted to do this year was actually decorate for Christmas in my bedroom. So I got a few pillows to just throw on top of our bed and then I purchased a tall skinny Christmas tree with a few ornaments. So because this was already out and I had just purchased this, this was the first place that we decided or that I decided to decorate for Christmas. So I am just putting up this quick and easy tree, which was easy, it was just three sections, and the lights were already on it, so I just had to connect them and put it all together, and I had a tree. I love the way it looks, just bare with the lights, but you know me, I needed to add a little bit of extra stuff, so I have some ribbon that I purchased, and I also purchased some black ornaments from Hobby Lobby. The ornaments actually came in a shiny black and a matte black, in one container so I had to buy two containers they were half off so that I was able to get 12 matte black ornaments for this tree and then I actually broke one which you might see here in my face in a minute when it hit crashing to the floor because they are glass note to self buy ornaments that are styrofoam or shutter free then after that I got some Dollar Tree ornaments some white Christmas bells with some uh, white like hearts and angels that have pearls on them and then I even purchased a white church building to hang on this tree because I just love the way it looked and just thought it would look really cool nestled into this tree. This tree's branches are very, very fluffy. So if you do go to Walmart and you buy the cashmere pencil tree, make sure that when you are hanging Christmas ornaments on it, you actually loop an entire ornament string around it. Or if you're using the Christmas hooks, you clamp those down onto the branches so that your Christmas ornaments will not fall crashing to the floor. I really love the way that this tree turned out. Once it was all done, a couple of days later when I started decorating the rest of the house, which you will actually see in an upcoming video, I changed out some of the Christmas ornaments on this tree for some silver and gold tone ones because I felt like they went better with the room decor and what I had going on in this room with all of the white. So you will actually see different ornaments in my next video that I will be doing for my holiday Christmas home tour when I show you this Christmas tree um, in that video. So stay tuned because even though I show you a final look here of this tree, it is actually not the final, final look. I do love the way the black ornaments look on this tree, especially the matte back black ornaments. They just kind of give it a little bit of pop of color, even though it is black, but it's kind of subtle, which is something I like. And I love waking up every morning and before going to bed, having the tree lights on this tree because it does make the room super cozy. And if Joanna Gaines can do it, so could I, right? Last year I saw on her Instagram, she posted a picture of her bedroom with all the kids piled up watching a video. And in the corner, there was a beautiful, large Christmas tree. So this year, having a small skinny Christmas tree in my bedroom was a must do, and it is actually kind of neat that it was the first thing that I decorated for Christmas this year. And you can see here, here's what it basically looks like before I changed out those white bell ornaments. And it is very beautiful. I love this tree. If you're looking to get one similar, like I said, this one is from Walmart. It is the cashmere pencil tree. I believe it is seven and a half foot tall and it just it's perfect for any corner or nook it's a very small corner that we have in our bedroom and it fits perfectly and I just love the way it looks all lit up at night
Hey guys, so it's a different day. I had to stop filming and decorating because I had to stop and go get my kids from school. And then I also realized that I did not have enough ribbon that I was thinking of using in my head um, for the, the skinny tree in my bedroom. Um, so I needed to go and get some more. And then I decided to change the color. And I also realized that I probably had some ribbon that would work in my Christmas bins. And so I was planning to show you this anyway. And so this is just a good point in the middle of the video to kind of just show you now. So if you've made it to the middle, then you're in for a treat because I do not show this to anyone, like hardly ever. And I'm just gonna share it with you. So I am standing in my garage in a corner that um, has some shelving in it that my husband built. He originally built, and it's just two, two by four shelving, you can see it here. He originally built it for some of his bigger tools and things like that men have, and I took it over. And the reason I took it over was because my bins fit in there nicely, and I could get to my bins when I wanted to, especially for all of the other seasons. Now Christmas, I have two shelving areas of bins, and I'll show you in just a second. Um, and he does kind of help me get those because they are on the top shelf. I can get to them even with my short little ladder here, but it's, it is nice to have a second person just to make sure like nothing crazy happens or that I fall. But for all of the other seasons, you can kind of see here, I have my, well, I, I have these curtains here and they serve no purpose just other than to kind of hide them and just re kind of like protect them. But behind the curtains, I have all of my storage bins and this is about four feet wide. It fits almost four bins wide, so it's probably more for three. But I have bins here, and then this section starts like some of his tools and woodworking area. But um, a very high is my Christmas, and it goes into this shelf. So it's two rows of Christmas. And then I have spring and summer here in the middle, and then I'm gonna move the camera. This is my fall decor down here in Halloween. So I store a lot of my decor um, that is like the linens, like pillows and blankets in a lot of these bags here. I wish I had another uh, system for that. It used to all fit in the bin, but over the years my collection has grown. So as I start, like I have Christmas up high because it's the most and then I go into, like I have January and like uh, Valentine's Day stuff here, and then spring. So they kind of share a shelf because those seasons blend together along with like fall and Halloween. So if you're into this seasonal living and you're collecting decor over the year as it goes, um, you might find a collection like this. And last year I actually consolidated some of this down and got rid of some decor that I don't um, typically like or use anymore and kind of have it like this system. You can also see that the bins are colored. So like, and it's just what's in style or in the season. Um, like the spring is kind of the pastel colors. The fall is like the rustic orange color. And then of course Christmas is like the red and green. So it kind of helps to know what season is in what bin. And I don't really have to guess. Now I would love to do maybe an organizational video, maybe after the new year and actually reorganize this down and actually label everything. Um, and just do it a little bit better than what I've got. But this is what I have so far. So now that we're here and I'm in the corner of my garage, I'm gonna go ahead and work on getting a majority of these bins down. And at the very tip top, I don't know if you can see it. Ah, look at all of that. Is like my wreaths and more Christmas decor. It actually goes, what is that, five bins wide um, of all. <laughs> Sorry guys, I was moving the camera and it cut off on me, but yes, it's five bins wide. And then just down further from that, like where you can even see is our Christmas trees. So I'm gonna work on getting all of that down and then I will come back and kind of go through some of my bins with you um, and let you know what I have and get back to decorating. Okay guys, so. <laughs> I hope you liked my Christmas tree that was in my bedroom. I am actually now on day three of decorating. Um, it's not been a full three days. Like I've only had a little bit of time um, for those three days to get things done. Normally I do everything in like 
just about one day, maybe bleeding into a second day. But um, for whatever reason, this week has just been crazy for me, so it's spread out over the three days. Um, I've gotten all of my bins. Can you see them? They're finally all down. And so I'm this behind me is like our biggest tree and I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that I've already started sorting out some of the linens and putting things around the house and like the different places that they go so I'm gonna end this video and I will come back with a part two um, holiday home tour and walk you through everything that I have done and where I put everything and show you how I have actually decorated for the holidays so I will see See you soon. I've got a lot of work to do. Bye. Last up, I wanted to share with you my holiday guide. This is a free printable holiday planning guide that you can get from my blog, craftylifemom.com, if you are an email subscriber. And it is free to actually be an email subscriber. You just need to put your email into the subscriber box. And I will send you a password to my resource library where you can actually download this entire free printable holiday guide. And inside of it, there is a gift planning section for all of your family and friends. There's even a shopping list and a budget section for each of your gifts that you're planning to purchase this year, along with a holiday menu planning section for all of your side dishes and your desserts, a shopping list for the grocery store, and it even has some recipe planning sections. So if there's some new recipes you want to try or some old family favorites, you can actually write them down here. So you have everything all in one place. At the very end, there is a cleaning section so that you can check it off as you clean different rooms in your home. And my absolute favorite is the very last page. You will see a uh, printable that you can do on cardstock, these holiday gift tags print them and cut them off as many as you want and put them on all of your holiday gifts this year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not a subscriber, please click the subscribe button and I hope to have fun with you this holiday season. Thanks for watching.